नाम इस प्रबुद्धा राजम चीजी हैं। I'm studying in sixth standard boys school Kengeri campus. Did you have a breakfast? Hope it was yummy. But was it chef? Hmm. In this video, today I'm going to enact and show you about food safety and hygiene. Thank you. Okay, it's lunch time. My favorite period. Got my lunch box there. My bottle. Maybe she would have sent me delicious burger, pizza, or something like that. I would love it. You know. Look at this. I got my mother would send me some burger or pizza. Why did she send this regular food? But everyone tells that don't eat junk food, don't eat junk food. Then is this food safe? Okay, if everyone tells there would be something. I'll ask my teacher. He would know it. First, let me eat my lunch. Hold. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, I had a doubt. Can you help me in it? Thank you, sir. So my doubt was, the food that we eat in our daily life is it safe for us, sir? So this is your doubt. <laughs> okay, I am currently busy right now. Um, maybe after some time, I'll be free. Then I'll take you to the scientist. He'll explain you more in detail. Yes, sir. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Hmm. May I come in, sir? Come in. My name is Prabhuda, sir. Oh, so you're Prabhuda. Come in. Sit down. Yes, sir. Yeah, wait, sir. Yes, your teacher told that you're gonna come. Good doubt, well. Sit down, child. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So today I'm going to explain in detail about food safety for you. Sit down. Yeah. Let me tell you in detail about food safety. Let's start. Have you ever thought that the chocolate that you eat and the dosa that you relish in the restaurant are safe for you? Hmm. If it's unsafe, then it can cause n number of foodborne diseases. That's very dangerous. So, be cautious. You might have seen the, in the news reports that health problems are caused by contaminated and adulterated foods. Well, do you know what are contaminated and adulterated foods? Okay, I'll tell you. Contaminated foods are the foods that have been spoiled by the microorganisms like E. coli and coliforms, etc. Adulterated foods are the foods that have been spoiled by adulterants. So, what is food safety? Food safety is nothing but handling, storing and preparing food to prevent infections without losing its nutrients. Unsafe food contains of harmful bacteria, viruses and chemical substances that can cause more than 200 diseases to the human body. So, are you curious about this topic? Yes, everyone would be curious. But sorry, I have an important meeting right now. We'll meet tomorrow, Prabhuda. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Have a wonderful day. Oh, Prabhuda, when did you come? Yes, sir. I came early. Really? Think you're curious about it? Yes. So today we'll continue our journey about food safety. Yesterday I told you something about bacteria, no? Yes, so I'm gonna continue 
with the bacteria. So, what are bacteria? Bacteria are small living creatures that can be seen only under a microscope. They can be either useful or harmful. Well, let us get still deeper into where and how do bacteria enter to the food and the way in which we can prevent their entry into the food. Since the food is very nutritious, it will harbor numerous microorganisms. Even they are found in our hairs, skins, hands, nails and cuts. Are you understanding, Prabhupada? Yes, sir. Good boy. Vegetables, fruits, grains, pulses, spices, herbs, milk, meat and poultry carry them. When these foodstuffs are brought into the kitchen, they bring in a variety of bacteria along with them. These bacteria not only contaminate the food, destroy the integrity and the sensory value of the food, but also cause many foodborne diseases which are life-threatening. They can bring about food poisoning or cause infections or diseases such as diarrhea and meningitis. So, how to get rid of this bacteria? Though food, time and water act as factors in deciding the growth of bacteria, temperature acts as the critical factor. So, let me explain the range of temperatures. 75 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, most bacteria are restored. 60 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius, bacterial growth is prevented. 5 degrees Celsius to 93 degrees Celsius, danger zone. Bacteria grow rapidly over this temperature range. 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, bacteria grow slowly, that is fridge temperature. And less than minus 18 degrees Celsius, bacterial growth is completely stopped that is a freezer temperature. So, it is essential to follow these golden rules of food safety. Wash hands between steps. Sanitize work surfaces. Use separate cutting boards for raw meats, vegetables and cooked foods. Cook raw foods thoroughly. Prepare food only for one meal. Avoid contact between raw foods and cooked foods. Choose processed foods. Keep all food preparations areas thoroughly clean. Be cautious with foods purchased outside. Use safe water. So, finally to conclude Prabhuda, food safety and food hygiene are important as they ensure that the food you handle and produce is safe for consumption or else consumers could become seriously ill with food poisoning and foodborne diseases. Globally, foodborne illnesses is a major problem of public health concern. So always consume clean and safe food and water. So bye Prabhuda, hope you understood what is food safety and hygiene. You can leave. Thank you sir, bye sir, have a wonderful day. Wow, now I know many things about food safety. I'm so happy. It was a wonderful, interesting and curious session. It was amazing. I would share this to my friends, teachers and everyone. Yes, I'm so happy.